Today's commercial is about a medication. Now, I know there's two types of medications in a general sense. There's medications that you have to take to survive, to keep yourself healthy. And there are what I call elective medications, things like Viagra, things like uh, testosterone or something like that. Today's medicine is Chantix. It's a medication that supposedly helps people stop smoking. Um, let's take a look. My name is Herb. I live in Northport, Alabama. I'm semi-retired, and I'm here to tell a story. My parents all smoked. My grandparents smoked. I've been a long-time smoker. My uncle was a murderer. My father was a murderer. My grandparents were murderers. So I must be a murderer. Just because your parents smoked and your grandparents smoked doesn't mean you have to smoke. Come on. You know, discouragement is a big thing in quitting smoking. I'm a guy who had given up quitting. He's a guy who gave up quitting. That means he quit quitting. Hmm. Can you quit quitting? If you don't even start in the first place, isn't that the same thing? He should just quit smoking. So if the medication is really called varenicline, how come it got the name Chantix? Do they think that the people who are taking Chantix can't pronounce varenicline? What caused me to be interested was Chantix is not a nicotine product. And that intrigued me. The doctor said, uh, while you're taking it, you can continue to smoke during the first week. His doctor said that while taking Chantix, he can continue to smoke for the first week? His doctor told him he can smoke? I would definitely change doctors. Chantix has proven to reduce the urge to smoke. In studies, 44% of Chantix users were quit during weeks 9 to 12 of treatment compared to 18% on sugar pill. So in other words, our medicine is better than taking sugar. Sugar won't cure you, but our medicine has a 44% chance of curing you more than sugar. 44% more than sugar. Today, I see myself as a jolly old man. So I'm taking Chantix now, I'm not smoking, and now I feel like an old man. Hmm, this is great praise for such a medication. <laughs> who doesn't have to smoke, who doesn't have to sneak out to take a couple puffs of a cigarette anymore. Herb quit smoking with Chantix and support. Talk to your doctor about Chantix and a support plan that's right for you. So this is the problem with people advertising their medications. They say, please see your doctor and ask him about Chantix or Advair or Viagra or whatever medication they choose to advertise. So rather than having your doctor make an independent decision on what medicine you should be taking, they want you to go to your doctor and suggest to your doctor, I want to take this medicine. You know, I don't think the general public is really in the position of choosing the correct medicine for the correct ailment. I think that should be left to a trained physician. What about you? Some people have had changes in behavior, hostility, agitation, depressed mood, and suicidal thoughts or actions while taking or after stopping chantics. Depressed mood? Suicidal thoughts while taking or stopping Chantix. Well, that will certainly get you to quit smoking. If you commit suicide, you probably won't smoke anymore. I wonder if they were part of the 44% that stopped smoking in the first 9 to 12 weeks. If you notice agitation, hostility, depression, or changes in behavior, thinking, or mood that are not typical for you, or if you develop suicidal thoughts or actions, stop taking Chantix and call your doctor right away. So if you notice you're having suicidal thoughts, stop taking Chantix and call your doctor right away. Really, they need to tell you to call your doctor right away. 
but it won't help. They said even if you stop Chantix, you might have suicidal thoughts. So whether you take it, whether you stop it, call your doctor. Tell him you want something else. Talk to your doctor about any history of depression or other mental health problems, which can get worse while taking Chantix. Just a question. Shouldn't your doctor already know if you're having depression? I mean, it is your doctor. Some people can have allergic or serious skin reactions to Chantix, some of which can be life-threatening. Wonderful. If suicidal thoughts aren't enough, now you can have a rash that's life-threatening. This Chantix, I really have to get some of this. If you notice swelling of face, mouth, throat, or a rash, stop taking Chantix and see your doctor right away. Again, you're having these kind of strange symptoms? Wouldn't you go to your doctor anyway, whether you were taking Chantix or not? What would Chantix have to do with it, other than cause it? Tell your doctor which medicines you're taking, as they may work differently when you quit smoking. You really have to get a new doctor. I mean, if you have to keep telling your doctor what medicine you're taking, isn't the doctor the one who's prescribing it? Please, if your doctor's prescribing Chantix, and doesn't know what other medicine you're taking, and doesn't know you have depression, get another doctor! Chantix dosing may be different if you have kidney problems. The most common side effect is nausea. So after all these side effects, the most common side effect is nausea. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Patients also reported trouble sleeping and vivid, unusual, or strange dreams. Until you know how Chantix may affect you, use caution when driving or operating machinery. So now maybe you shouldn't even drive your car. How are you going to get to the doctor if you have swelling? I don't understand. Chantix should not be taken with other quit smoking products. Well, if Chantix is so good, why would you even want to take any other quit smoking products? Interesting they would say that. The urges weren't like they used to be. Yes, before I didn't want to vomit, have swollen skin, and commit suicide. And that helped me quit. Talk to your doctor to find out if prescription Chantix is right for you.